hello viewers uh, welcome to my channel and uh, today's topic is a retinal detachment uh, but before starting this topic I would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos uh, to support this channel and if you need more information about any disease any medical condition uh, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com you know now I come to the topic what is retinal detachment you know, you know the retina uh, is a light sensitive membrane and it's located at the back of the eye you know and when the light passes through the eye the lens it focuses an image on your retina you know and the retina converts the image into the signals that are sent to the brain through the optic nerve you know and uh, the retina works with the cornea, with the lens and other parts of your eye and the brain uh, to produce the normal vision, you know. And uh, it is very important component of part of the uh, eye, you know, and producing the images, you know. And the retinal detachment uh, occurs when the retina separates from the back of your eye. So, this causes the loss of vision that can be partial or maybe total, you know. And depending on how much the retina is detached, well, when the retina becomes detached, its cells may be seriously deprived of oxygen, you know. And the retinal detachment is a medical emergency, you know. And uh, uh, call your doctor right away, uh, the nearest emergency room. Uh, if you suffer from a sudden vision loss, you know, or vision changes, you know, or any injury, you know, and uh, don't ignore it. And uh, there's a risk of permanent vision loss if the retinal detachment is left untreated, or if the treatment is delayed, you know. So that's why I said don't delay if uh, your son or daughter or any child or any person around you, if he has the any eye like uh, injury, you know, I don't ignore it. Always go to the emergency. Okay. And the next thing is about uh, the symptoms, you know. Well, there is no pain associated with the retinal detachment. So, uh, but there are usually the symptoms before your retina becomes detached, you know. And uh, the primary symptoms may include like the blurred vision, maybe the partial vision loss, you know. And uh, maybe certain flashes of light that uh, appear when looking to the side, you know. And uh, certainly seeing many floaters, okay. And so these are the symptoms uh, uh, which you may feel before uh, it detaches, you know. Next thing, what are the types and what are the causes, you know. Well, there are three types of the retinal detachments. Uh, number one is uh, rectomatogenous, you know. Number two is tractional detachment. And number three is uh, exudative, you know. Uh, I will start from the first one which is a, a regmatogenous, you know, retinal detachment. Well, if you have this one, uh, you have a tear or a hole in your retina, you know, and this allows the fluid from within your eye to uh, slip through the opening and uh, get behind your retina, you know, and this fluid separates the retina from the retinal uh, pigment epithelium, you know. And uh, which is the membrane that provides your retina with the nourishment of the oxygen, you know, and causing the retina to uh, detach, you know. And this is the most common type of the retinal detachment, you know. Uh, the other one is like tractional retinal detachment. You know, uh, this one occurs when uh, the scar tissues on the certain surfaces, uh, uh, like uh, uh, it contracts or causes your retina to uh, pull away from the back of your eye, you know. And this is less common type of the detachment that uh, typically affects the people with the diabetes mellitus, you know. And if you have the diabetes mellitus, you are at higher risk of uh, having this kind of the retinal detachment, you know. And the poorly controlled diabetes can lead to the uh, tissues with the retinal vascular system, you know. And uh, uh, this vascular damage can uh, later lead to the scar tissue accumulation in your eye that could cause the retinal detachment, you know. And the third one is like a uh, exudative detachment or exudative retinal detachment, you know. Uh, 
in this case there is there are no tears in your retina you know and the retinal uh, disease uh, such as uh, uh, like the inflammation or maybe any cancer behind the retina you know or uh, the Coats disease or maybe so this can cause this kind of the detachment you know so the next thing is what are risk factors you know well the risk factors for the retinal detachment include like posterior vitreous detachment mm. uh, which means that uh, which is common in older people you know uh, extreme like uh, near sightedness uh, family history of uh, any retinal detachments a uh, trauma to the eye uh, and if your age is over 50 you know and uh, a prior history of retinal detachment and complications from the uh, cataract removal surgery and maybe diabetes mellitus. So if you have this, you are at high risk, you know. And uh, the next thing is about the diagnosis, you know. Well, to diagnose, your doctor will perform the eye examination and he will check your VM, your eye pressure, your uh, physical appearance and maybe the physical, uh, like uh, the ability to see the colors, you know. And... Uh, 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 your doctor might also test the ability to uh, of your retina to send the impulses to the brain you know to send the signals to the brain and uh, he may check the blood flow throughout the eye uh, and uh, specifically into the retina you know so uh, uh, your doctor may order the ultrasound or other imaging tests of the eyes you know and this is a painless test and uh, it uses the sound waves, you know, to create the image of the eye. And uh, the next thing is about the, uh, if you have the retinal detachment, what, what are the treatment options? You know? Well, in most cases, uh, surgery is necessary to repair the retinal detachment. And uh, the minor detachments are the tears of the retina. Uh, a simple procedure may be done uh, in the doctor's office, you know. And uh, the procedures are known as uh, like uh, photocoagulation or maybe uh, cryopaxy or retinopaxy, you know, or maybe uh, scleral uh, buckling, you know, and uh, uh, vitrectomy, you know. So these are the different procedures which are used. Uh, so I will explain these uh, procedures separately in my videos, you know. And uh, but all the uh, the purpose of all the procedure is to detach or in fact reattach the detached uh, our, our retina, you know, and to restore its function, you know. Well, the outlook depends on the severity of the condition and how quickly uh, you get the expert medical care, you know. And uh, some people will recover completely, especially if the retina, uh, if the macula is not damaged, you know. And, uh, you know, the macula is a part of the eye responsible uh, for the clear rest vision and uh, is located near the center of the retina, you know. And some people may uh, regain the partial vision, you know. And uh, some may lose, but it, again, it depends on the severity of the condition, you know. And how quickly it has been diagnosed, how quickly it reached to the uh, hospital, and uh, how it's preserved. You know, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, if you need uh, uh, more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. A link for the website is just below this video. And I need your support, and you can do so by simply subscribing, sharing, and uh, liking this video, you know. Thank you very much. Goodbye.